The Create Mod is an amazing addition to Minecraft that brings automation, machinery, and well, trains. In this series, I'll guide you through all of Create's complicated mechanics in an easy and straightforward way. But before we get started, how do you even install it? Whether you use Forge or Fabric or are completely new to the modding scene, you are in the right place. I'll guide you step by step on how to download and install not just Create, but I'll also share a list of recommended mods to elevate your Create journey. So sit back, relax, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. If you are a beginner, then watch the full video. But if you have some experience with mods already, you can use these timestamps to navigate to the segment that's relevant to you. This guide will focus on installing Create by itself and not on any mod pack. You'll find links to all the mods and resources from this tutorial in the video description in order of appearance. To run Create, apart from having Java Minecraft, of course, we'll need to choose a mod loader, either Fabric or Forge. Fabric is ideal for lightly modded gameplay, offering a generally better performance, and Forge is compatible with a vast library of mods that can completely transform minecraft you can install these loaders by themselves and i'll cover those methods but i highly recommend using multi mc a launcher that makes the whole process a lot easier and allows you to have instances of minecraft that are independent from each other before we jump into that let's make sure you have java 17 installed visit the official java download page select your operating system and then click on the x64 installer not on the x64 msi it will start downloading. Once it's done, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. You are done! Now we need to install a mod loader. As I said earlier, I recommend MultiMC, but let's quickly go over how to install Forge and Fabric for those who prefer those methods. For Forge, visit the Forge website, download the recommended installer and run it. Then, locate the mods folder inside your .minecraft folder. This is where we'll put create once we have it. For fabric, visit the fabric website, download the installer and run it. Don't forget to also download the Fabric API. Place the API in the mods folder inside your .minecraft folder. If you want a more detailed guide on how to install Forge and Fabric, check out the links in the description. But let's move on to the cool kids option, MultiMC. For those who want a more organized and easier approach, this is what I recommend. Here's how to do it. Visit the official MultiMC website. Click on download and install. Then select the version compatible with your operating system or meet windows and download it extract the downloaded zip to a folder of your choice keep in mind that this is where all your instances and worlds will be stored so make sure you have enough disk space run the multi mc executable to launch the program if this is your first time using it select your language and then hit next on this window click on finish You'll need to log in using your Minecraft account. Click on Profile, Manage Account, select your account type and follow the steps. Don't worry, this is completely safe. Then you'll see the main MultiMC interface. And the first thing we'll do is click on this little cat icon here so this guy pops up. I already have some instances created, but yours will be empty. Let's fix that. Click Add Instance to create a new Minecraft profile. Name the instance and select the Minecraft version you want to use. In our case, Minecraft. 1.20.1. You can also change the instances icon by clicking here. For create, I'll use the cog. Press OK and your new instance will appear. Go to edit instance and under the version tab, you can install Forge or Fabric just by clicking on these buttons here. Super easy. To add mods, go to the Loader Mods tab in the instance, and this is where you'll add the Create Mod file by dragging it. If you are using Fabric, you'll also need to download the Fabric API and place it on this folder. Now it's time to get the actual Create Mod. First, visit the Create Mod page on Modrinth. Make sure it's the version for the mod loader you want to use. Click Download and put this file in your mod folder or drag it into the MultiMC window we showed before. 
before. As a side note, always download mods from trusted sources like Modrinf to avoid malware. Finally, run the instance by double clicking on it. If the game starts, congratulations! You now have the Create More installed in your game. Now that you have the Create More installed, let's talk about some other mods that can enhance our experience with it. If after adding a mod, the instance fails to load, it could be due to some incompatibilities in your mods. Make sure they all are on the right versions. First, optimization mods. This can make the game run way better, particularly on lower end devices, and I highly recommend you install them. For fabric, sodium and lithium are the best here. For forge, rubidium is a port of sodium and will give you the best performance. Next up, we have GEI or just enough items. GEI is a must have for a mod friendly crafting interface. It's available for both fabric and forge and it makes your life so much easier. Mod menu for fabric is really useful to manage your mods and see what you have installed. If you play in Forge, it comes pre-installed by default. Next up is the most optional, but since I'll be using it on this series, I'll also recommend a zoom mod. For Fabric, Logical Zoom is what I use. Simple and straightforward. Plus, it's made by Logical Geekboy, who is an amazing guy. For Forge, just zoom works really well. Finally, if you want to use shaders with Create, you'll need a mod that runs them. Shaders can be quite resource intensive depending on the pack. You will need to download and add the shader you want separately. For Fabric, Iris is the absolute best shader mod there is. And for Forge, Oculus is a port of Iris and runs with Rubidium. Congratulations! You have successfully installed the Create mod and the best companions for it. If you have any questions regarding the installation process, write them down in the comments. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll dive into the basics of this amazing mod. This easy iron farm will speed up the start of your create world and it can be set up in less than a minecraft day check it out on this video my name is bruno and i am out goodbye